just when you thought it was safe. We're back. <laughs> we have a new driver this time. This time the cowboy is the driver. I'm not wearing my hat today. Dan's the navigator. Hi. And I'm your, what's the word for intrepid? Camera person, <laughs> uh, reporter person. We're going to a place called Alviso today. And Alviso is a place just north of San Jose, or I guess it's kind of part of San Jose. I don't know what it is. It's unincorporated or something. Anyway, it's up there someplace uh, west of Milpitas. And the trains go through a marsh there. Uh, luckily, today the Coast Starlight is the Coast Star late, <laughs> and they're about two hours late. So we will get them going through Alviso. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens from there, because you know, we don't really plan this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a lot of places, after about nine o'clock, the traffic loosens up. But this is the Bay Area. Well after nine o'clock, it's actually 10.15. And look at this wonderful traffic. Isn't this great? You know you love it, Mike. Oh, well, it's a few minutes later and we're stuck in another traffic jam on a different freeway. <laughs> Yay! That, that's good traffic, dude. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly where we're going. Going to work in Frisco Town. Alavasu. You ready for some foaming fun? Yeah. Good to go. We're in Alviso. Nice, cool summer morning. There's the old uh, Alviso Depot built by the South Pacific Coast Railway. How old is it? About 130 years old, something like that. It's a beautiful day. We're waiting for the uh, Coast Starlight. Run about two hours late, so it should be good. Should be very good. Yeah. Got good light today. Any thoughts from Navigator? Uh, no, just happy to be out shooting trains again. <laughs> it's like all we do. <laughs> yeah. And go to train stores, you forgot that part. Oh, are we going to go to a train store today? Uh, maybe, yes, probably. <laughs> We're not that far from it. Yeah. <laughs> Picking up some interesting chatter on the scanner here. Some bus driver. The machine smells bad, really bad. I mean, I have, thank goodness I carry that stuff with me. The urine is so, so bad, I swear. You know what, this coach should probably get that seat clean because she was on it. I couldn't see it because she had the coat on. We cannot deny service for smell. This is why I don't take the bus. <laughs> Uh, false alarm. That was interesting. It's weird. Sometimes they do that. So the ironic thing is that the train's long gone, but the crossing gates are still, still down. Uh, there it goes. Boy, it took a while. All right, the chase is on. I say this every time. You do. That's why we call this Chasing Trains. So we're going to chase it down now, south of San Jose, somewhere.
This must be the day of the malfunctioning crossing gates because the same thing happened here. What are the odds of that? Okay, so part one of the mission is complete. We've chased the starlight as far as we can probably get ahead of it. And uh, yeah, time to eat. Just in case you thought I was the only coffee fiend. This is Dan's seat at the table when we're having lunch. And this is my seat at the table where we're having lunch. That's right, I'm drinking water. So who's really the coffee fiend? The angry coffee guy? I'll let you decide. So we just found out that uh, Dan's not feeling well. And if you look at him, you can tell he's got a little sweat going on, a little pale. And the real telltale sign of Dan not feeling well is that he just passed up on a chance to go to the, the train shop. That should give you an idea of how how ill he's feeling at the moment. So, send him your get well wishes. Oh, by then it'll be already well. I hope so. Okay. Yeah. We dropped Dan off at the uh, house there because he was feeling pretty bad. Like I was it saying, so yeah. Like I was saying at the restaurant, he was really pale and just sweating. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. He probably just caught a, some kind of a stomach thing or something. So anyway, so he's in good hands at, at my house there uh, for now. The cats will take care of him. And uh, we're back out going somewhere. Uh, probably go try to find the freight train in Alviso or some Caltrain or something like that. Some Caltrain up on the coast or the... Uh, what do you call that line? The Caltrain line. Yeah. So, so here we go. We're not done yet. <laughs> That's a little zipper in front of us. And guess who else is a zipper now? Yep, yep, I'm, I'm guilty. He not want to be stuck getting on a slow truck on the freeway. He's the zipper. <laughs> and he is indeed getting on the freeway, so I'm not regretting my decision one bit. Oh, someone zipped in behind me, too. <laughs> it's zipper galore. Zipper galore. <laughs> you know, pretty much every single trip that I've made going out to do this stuff, there's something, big or small, whatever it is, that doesn't go to plan. And you just have to, you know, chalk it up to experience and figure that, you know, it's not going to be perfect and come up with a new plan as best you can to work around with whatever problem you have. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah. And we're just going to make the best of it. it. It's kind of like railroading in general because, I mean, for places like, you know, Niles Canyon, nothing ever goes perfectly according to plan. Yeah. And you're sort of improvising the whole time. Yeah. You just have to prepare and work around whatever problem it is that comes up. And you know, that's what we did. Yep. And we've got a good solution. I think it's going to end up being a good afternoon, even with, you know, sick and everything. Hopefully he'll be better by this evening so we can all go see the starlight. Guess we'll find out later. Yeah. On this exciting edition of Chasing Trains. Look, here's our first solo train, Mike. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Right there. BTA. Okay, Wi-Fi. Well, it was stuck at the station, so that's all you're going to get of that one. All right, so we've got it, got our shop set up here behind us, right? Yeah. Chairs and cameras everywhere. And we're uh, here at Alviso, California. We came back out here hoping to catch a freight train. There's usually at least one freight train that comes through once a day, usually in the afternoon. Yeah, so. south mountain. 
to do a mill PDCR. And, so, yeah. So wait, see that comes by here. It's a little windy. Yeah, you can see my flaps blowing in the wind. So that that's that could be bad. <laughs> we'll see what happens. One of the cool things about being out doing this is that sometimes people will come up who aren't dorky and start up conversations. We just talked to a lady that stopped by here at our little encampment for about, what was that Mike, about 30 minutes? Yeah, all about these trains and stuff. It was, it was pretty cool though, she was really nice. So. Mike didn't get to sign an autograph card for her though, because he left his 5x7 headshots at home. Yeah. So, good stuff though. While we were at it, we got a capital, and uh, if the scanner is right, we should be getting our freight train through here sometime in the next 30 to 60 minutes. So we're uh, picking up some chatter on the radio over the scanner about this uh, southbound freight train going to be here pretty soon. And look, Mike's getting, he's getting real excited to look at him. Super excited. Yeah. We're pretty excited about that because, well, I'm excited about it because I've never seen a freight train through here before. You've never seen a freight train before in your life, isn't that right? I've never seen a freight train. I've heard they're really neat though. Yeah, they're, they're sure swell. Yeah. So I guess I'll be seeing my first freight train in my life then, pretty soon. They are swell. Yeah. And I really hope the wind isn't destroying the audio for this video because. Oh, I can guarantee you it will. Yeah, it's in. It's in really windy out here. It's blowing my. It's blowing the the brim of my hat down. But it's good though. I look better like this if you can just get the. <laughs> thing over my head, over my face like that, I look a lot better. How do I look now? So he found this sign that tells you to eat the fish with some chemicals in them, but don't eat the fish with more chemicals in them. <laughs> I don't eat fish, but if I did, I would probably look for fish that had no chemicals in them. <laughs> I mean, really. What are you doing over there? Gardening. You're doing some gardening before the next train comes? Yep.
You know what I'm going to say, right? Yeah. Welcome to the Bay Area, <laughs> where you can get traffic like this any time of the day or night. Now, in this case, it is actually commute. Yeah, commute time. So this is this is rush hour. Whoa, what's that little zipper doing? I have no idea. Look at that! What a jerk! That is a true zipper right there, Mike. Yeah. Look, that's not even a lane or anything. Yep, no, I know. Here, if you know this person. Their license plate is 6 6TBA507. 49ers fan. Maybe that's why they're angry. The 49ers have been terrible. But look at that. That is some courteous driving right there. Alright, so we're at this place called College Park. And this is kind of a strange thing. This is a shelter shed that's been here for a really long time. And behind me, off in that direction, is a place called Bellarmine. It's a college prep high school. And I'm gonna try to, it's kind of hard because we're looking into the sun here, but you can see College Park over my, over my head there. So we're gonna hang out here for a little while and uh, you having a little uh, yeah, this little thing. issue with the... It needs to be tightened. We seem to have come at a bad time because there's a Mexican band practicing across the street. But Mike's been really enjoying the music coming from... Yeah, I love it. That guy sounds like he's giving birth. <laughs> it's really heartfelt though. Alright. Well, Ace we're, comes in one minute so maybe we should set up. We're back in action.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm starting to think I should start doing plane run-bys. The airport's nice and close by, right? What do you think? Should we do plane run-bys? We'll get more action. And they don't all look the same anymore like the, <laughs> what the trains do these days. Try to see the starlight. We're gonna try to see the starlight. It's a little star late today, but we'll see what we can do, right? See what happens. Yeah. Back into the traffic. <laughs> We're going. Oh, this ought to be good. Yeah. Welcome to California. Anyway, we're headed south. We're gonna go a little bit south of Gilroy. And despite that guy's idiotic driving, we'll probably get there at the same time as he does. Now we're gonna try to catch the northbound Starlight, which is train 14, on its way toward San Jose. So guess what we're doing? Chasing trains. That's right, we're chasing trains. Pretty much the shot we were looking for down here. Not too happy with the sun dipping behind the mountains on to the west the way it did, but it seems like it probably turned out okay. Yeah, I think it's still good. probably still pretty good. So, what's the current temperature? Weather coming up. It's currently 58 degrees. 58 degrees? Okay, okay, so in Hollister it's 58 degrees. You heard it here first, folks. This isn't even Hollister. Hollister. This is. Well, this it is said Hollister. Hollister on the phone. Uh, all right, so. It's a guy yelling at us there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. We'll see you on the next episode.